We are still solving the 2024 elective mathematics paper 2. This is statistics and probability section. Question number 13. The data represents the ordered age in years of some pupils in a school. Given that the lower quartile the lower quartile age is 7 years and upper quartile age is 11 years. Find the values of M and N. So the data set we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 data set. So the mean will be the number the sixth number. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five here. We have one, two, three, four, five here. So the median, not the mean. This will be the median. This will be the median. Four m plus one is the median. So the lower quartile is the median of the lower values here lower data set here so the median now divides the data set into two halves the upper half which is this one and the lower half which is this one so the median of the lower half is what we call the lower quartile so we have one two three four five so we have one two we have one two so the median of the lower half is the lower quartile which is 2m plus n so 2m plus n is equal to 7 according to the question then the upper quartile is the median of the upper half we have 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 1 2 so the median is this one here which is m plus 3 n m as 3n and according to the question is equal to 11 is equal to 11 so we have two equations equation 1 and equation 2 to solve for m and n so let's solve that let me make m the subject in equation 2 so m will be equal to 11 minus 3n so I can call this equation 3 I can put equation 3 in equation 1. So I'm going to get 2m, 2 into bracket 11 minus 3n plus n is equal to 7. So 2 times 11 is 22. 2 times negative 3n is negative 6n plus n is equal to 7. So negative 6 plus n will be negative 5n is equal to 7 minus 22 that will be 15 a 15 7 minus 22 is negative 15 so divide both side by negative 5 negative 5 therefore n will go here negative 5 will go here three times therefore the value of n is 3 if the value of n is 3 then m will be equal to 11 minus 3 times 3, which will be 11 minus 9, and that will give us 2. Therefore, m is 2, and n, n is 3. So the b part of the question says we should find the variance correct to one decimal place. So to find the variance, we must first of all find the mean to calculate the variance we must first calculate the mean so we know the mean of all these numbers so we have to fix the values m and n inside here so when you put m equal to here you are going to get seven when you put then the second one is seven the third one will also be seven then we have 8 from 8 the next one will be 8 again because 2n plus m will give us 8 then 4m plus 1 will give us 9 
then we have 9 then we have 10 then we are going to get 11 m plus 3 n which is 2 plus 9 then we are going to get 12 and 12 so the mean h the mean h will be equal to the sum of all these numbers 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 12 all over 11 and this will give us 100 over 11 so that is the mean age you can simplify it further then you can simplify it you get um, 9 whole number because 9 times 11 is 99 9 whole number 1 over 11 now they didn't ask us to round so we can leave it like this then let's look at the variance to calculate the variance we need to subtract the mean from all these values then we square the results and we sum everything and we divide by n which is 11 so you can do that in a table form like this we subtract the mean from 7 that will give us negative 23 over 11 the mean from 8 that will give us negative 12 over 11 the mean from 9 the mean from 10 the mean from 12 then we add all we square it and add all to get 406 over 11 so the variance the variance will be equal to summation of the deviation squared over n and that will be equal to 406 over 11 all over 11 so that will be equal to 406 over 11 times 1 over 11 because this one is like division so the reciprocal is 11 over 1 so you multiply by the reciprocal to get 1 over 11 and that will give us 406 over 121 which is equal to 3.3554 so to one decimal place we get 3.4 so that is the variance the variance thank you for joining us to solve this question please don't forget to share this video with your colleagues thank you thank you thank you for sharing